Hey guys, welcome on. This is Mary Dade with Kingdom Blueprint and I'm super excited to talk to you guys today. Um, I have a dear friend with me that wants to share a word that she's had from the Lord. And it's very kind of um, similar to the word that the Lord gave me about the gnats and about the distractions that are trying to come around you instead of standing on the promise of God in front of you. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited to introduce her. This is Tara. And why don't you say a little bit about yourself? Hi, hello everyone, Kingdom Blueprint. Um, as Mary said, my name is Tara and I'm so, so excited to be here with you guys today. I'm so excited for what the Lord is doing and how he is moving and he is speaking to his body and we are in one spirit and he's speaking similar things um, to each of us. So I'm excited to share about that. To give you a little background on me, I am a Kingdom Purpose Coach. So I'm a life coach with an emphasis on purpose and destiny. And so my heart is really for the children of God to walk in the fullness of who they are and knowing who God is, who they are, and the fullness of the purposes and plans that he has for their life. So I love what he's doing right now. He is rising up the children of God into their rightful positions in the kingdom of God. And we are on the brink of the biggest move of God that we're about to see. So I'm excited to talk about that. And I'm so, so thankful to be here with you all. Thank you, Mary, for having me. Definitely. I'm super excited. I know you kind of shared a little bit with me, so I had a little bit of a sneak peek, but what is the word that the Lord gave you for this season? Yeah. So I think that the Lord has given me many words for this season, but the one that comes to mind most, especially in hearing when you shared the word about the gnats, I was just like, oh my gosh, Lord, yes, 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 yes. So very similarly, he actually gave me a vision and what the vision that he gave me was it was this beautiful white horse and it was standing at a gate, a white gate. And on the other side of the gate was this huge meadow. And it was a beautiful meadow. The skies were bright blue, beautiful. I'm actually seeing it again right now. We've got trees all over the place, fields of flowers. And it is just, you can tell just by looking at it, it is full of peace. It is full of abundance. It is full of joy, full of love. You can just sense that in your spirit. Wow. And this this um, horse was just standing right at the gate and the gate was open, but the horse was staying on the other side of it. And it wasn't just standing there, but the horse kept turning back and it kept turning back and looking forward and turning back this beautiful meadow, looking over to the sides. And what I felt like the Lord was saying to me is so many of my people are standing right at the gate of their promised land. And instead of moving forward into their promised land, they keep looking back. They keep turning back into each side. And what turning back is referring to is turning back to Egypt, turning back to the things of the past, turning back to the bondage, turning back to comfort. What a lot of us don't like to admit is that we often find comfort in our bondage, just like the Israelites, right? When they were freed for 40 years in the wilderness, they were wanting to go back to Egypt and yeah. back into bondage. So this horse kept looking back and then it kept looking to the sides. And what the sides represented was comparison. Looking at the fields over here, yeah. looking at the fields over there, comparing everyone else's fields and their promised lands. And let me, let me tell you, they're perceived promised lands. They're not even reality. So it's that concept of looking at the grass because the grass is, always looks greener on the other side. But the truth is, is that you can't even see that grass. It's so yeah. far out of grass for you. And so what I felt like the Lord was saying was, instead of turning back, instead of looking to the sides, quit comparing, quit turning back, step into the fullness of the promised land that I have set before you, because it is time, the gate is open, and I have abundance for you there. I have joy for you there. I have love for you there. I have peace for you there. I have the abundance of me because you guys, first and foremost, it is so important to recognize that the promised land is God. It's the fullness of our oneness with him. It's the fullness of our relationship with him, of our inheritance in him. So first and foremost, that's what the promised land is. And so he's saying, step in to the fullness of me. 
the fullness of who I am, the fullness of who I say you are. And then in that and through that is where the promises are birthed, all the flowers and the trees that are grown up, the promises that are specific for each of us based on the Bible corporately and also Rhema promises for us, right? The promises that the Lord has given us. But first and foremost, we've got to seek the promise keeper, not the promises, Don't lose sight of the promise keeper in the midst of desiring the promises. That is the key to walking through the promised land. When we are focused on the promises, when we are focused too much on the promises, I should say, and idolizing those instead, that's where we look back. That's where we look to the sides, right? Because it's like, I don't see anything, God. I don't see anything, God. And he's just reminding me right now that in the word, he actually says that those who look back, Mm -hmm are not fit for the kingdom of God. And I don't know about you, but I know about me. I know about (laughs) Mary. And if you haven't felt this, I am praying this over you right now. Let us desire the kingdom, the fullness of the kingdom of God here on earth. Yes. In oneness with him. So absolutely. That's amazing, Tara. I agree with you. The one thing you said about comparison, the other one the Lord's been showing me is assumption. Mm. assumption and comparison are deadly when it like you can't enter the kingdom having that because if you're assuming something because of doubt or worry or fear or you're comparing yourself to other people's stories you're missing out on what you're supposed to be doing what you're bringing to the kingdom we each have our own part our own piece of the puzzle in this world and it's like we all have something that nobody else can bring you have something i can't bring i have something you can't bring we all have to work together and so it's like it's cohesive but it's exciting because it's really getting women prepared to understand like we're supposed to, we're a family. We should support each other and encourage each other and be there to support each other and empower each other. And so with being, with that being said, you know, I'm super excited. I know you're helping women this season in the marketplace Mm -hmm. and you have something to share that you're in the process of doing. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, I can. But real quick, before we jump there, I just want, I felt like the Lord highlighted in something you shared this assumption and recognizing that the purity of our hearts is utmost of, an, of utmost importance. Yeah. Blessed are those who are pure at heart for they shall see God and assumption and comparison are two of the enemy's tactics to taint our hearts and to taint our minds, to plant judgment, to plant division, to come against the will of God, which ultimately is the unification of the body of Jesus Christ in preparation for his return. So that's the other thing that you shared, just this heart that God is doing such a massive work Mm -hmm and purification work, um, refining work in the body of Christ, uh, teaching us to truly honor one another, to see one another the way that he sees us and to recognize exactly what you shared, what the word is talking about when it's talking about the body of Christ and each of us being a different piece of the body. And you guys, every single one of us, there is only one of you, one of you. There will only ever be one of you. There's never been a you. There will never be another you. There's only one of you with a purpose that only you can fulfill. Why would you want to be anybody else? Why would we want to be anybody else? Why would we want to do anything else? I want to step into the fullness of the signature anointing that the Lord has placed on my life and fulfill the purpose that he has placed on my life and do my part in the co-laboring with Jesus Christ under the headship of Christ with the body for the fullness of the move of God. And so that being said, yes, I'm really, really excited. You can probably tell I'm fired up. (laughs) Um, I know that we are in a Kairos moment an appointed and an anointed time here in this moment right now. And if you're watching this and if you've been following Mary and if you've been listening to the Lord is what I should say first, seeking the Lord, following Mary, really uh, surrounding yourself with what the Lord is doing and just opening your eyes to what's going on. It's undeniable that we are in a Kairos moment. And I believe that the Lord, as I mentioned earlier, is rising up 
He's awakening and arising up his people into their rightful positions in the kingdom of God. And what is of utmost importance of that is that we rise up into our positions, uniquely yes. us, right? We've been created uniquely for unique purposes. So he's rising us up into our rightful positions in the kingdom of God as kingdom women of the word, kingdom warriors of the word rather than the world. And one area where I believe that we are going to see the next big move of God is in the marketplace, right? And so he's calling us and rising us up into all of our realms of influences. And that includes the workplace. Think of how much time we spend in the workplace. Think of how much of our lives we spend in the workplace. It is completely remiss to think that we are just there for worldly purposes, to think that we are just there for a paycheck, to think that we are just there. No, God has divinely placed you in your workplace for purpose, and he is rising you up to have maximum impact for the kingdom of God, to bring him utmost glory and to expand the kingdom. And so I believe that we are going to see a move in the marketplace like never before in this next season. And I believe that he's personally called me to come alongside of and equip and empower the daughters of the king and create a space and community for each of us to thrive in the fullness of who we are and our individual purposes, but alongside of like-minded sisters, a band of sister. A, a band of sisters in a sisterhood that loves Jesus, that is in the marketplace, and that can come alongside of each other, grow our faith, grow and discover our unique design, right? How did God create you? And how did he create me so that we can better understand, our, understand ourselves and show up more powerfully in our workplaces and in all spheres of our life as the woman of God that he's created us to be, specifically created us to be. We can and ditch the overwhelm, overcome the overwhelm, manage our emotions, propel into purpose yeah. and co-labor with God in this next big move. So we're going to grow and go together. I am so, so excited about it. Um, and I really believe that God, God is doing something so incomprehensible. We are seeing chaos and pain and awful thing, heart-wrenching things all around the world. But you guys, it is preparatory because God is preparing the harvest. The harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. It is time to co-labor with Jesus Christ. And that is not a burden when you recognize the fullness of who you are and what he's created you to do, because it becomes such a joy and an honor and a privilege. And it's not heavy. There's weight of responsibility. There's weight of responsibility, but we get to cast that onto the Lord and really move with him. So that is an encouragement that I have for you is move with the Lord. And I want to talk about, um, just real quick, Mary, sorry. Um, oh, but no, no, this is great this group. Um, really embracing the purposes of the season that we are in. Yeah. And so that's going to look different for each of you. It looks different for Mary. It looks different for me. It looks yeah. different for everyone. That's part of our unique relationships with God and our unique journeys with the Lord. Um, and so that would be a huge encouragement that I have for you is really to seek the Lord. Yeah. What are your purposes for me in this season? Because when we are walking in the fullness of purpose, on purpose and for purpose, overwhelm naturally falls to the wayside. The exhaustion naturally falls to the wayside. Now that doesn't mean that in our humanity, we don't get tired, right? But as the word of God says, those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength, right? We will walk and not grow weary. We will run and not grow faint. That means that we will not succumb to the weariness and the faintness. And that is putting our trust in the Lord and moving forward 100%. in purpose. So hundred percent. That's yeah. exciting. It's true though, because it's, it's really about, we really have to have our relationship right with the Lord where we have to be one with him and we have to stay focused on what he's wanting us to do. And it is that day by day is the kingdom way. I mean, that is the biggest thing the Lord taught me is it is day by day. If we're focused on next week, if we're focused on next month, we can't enjoy the day. 
And today we have something to bring today. And so it's exciting. I'm excited for you, Tara. Can you share a little bit about your program that you're offering? Yes, yes. So uh, the program that I'm actually launching, we're starting up next week and I'm really, really excited about it. It's called Reignite, Propel from Pressure to Purpose on Mission in the Marketplace. And as you saw me sharing my heart on... Uh, on and for the program that really the heart is to gather a sisterhood of women who are in the marketplace, in the workplace, in the workforce and propel from this pressure that we all feel it has been a tough year and a half and into purpose for each of us and recognizing that the purpose, I think that um, something Mary that you said was um, day by day and staying present in the moment so oftentimes I feel that purpose in and of itself is um, a very daunting word, especially when we're wanting to fulfill the purposes and plans for that God has for us on our life. It seems ethereal. It seems like it's in the clouds. It's like, okay, well, what does that even mean? How do I even do that? And then sometimes when we do get vision, it's like, how do I even get there? And so really recognizing that the key is that intimacy that Mary is talking about and coming into the moment and staying present in, to, in the moment, embracing the purposes of this moment, of this day, of this season. And as we do that, the Lord teaches us to steward that future vision. So really purpose is not something to be scared of, it's something to embrace. Um, so that's that's what we're going after in this group. Um, what, we're, what the program actually entails is it's a 16 week transformational coaching experience. Now it's going to be um, 12 weeks of actual training, coaching and gathering. Um, so we're, we're starting next week, as I mentioned, next Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. It's going to be three weeks on and the fourth week off of every month. That gives us the last week of September, the last week of October, the last week of November, and then we finish right in time. Um, I think it's the 16th. Yeah, so we finish in plenty of time for the holidays. Um, but it's going to include 12 recorded group coaching sessions. And in addition to that, there's going to be a highly interactive community, the sisterhood that I was telling you about, our Reignite Sisterhood, so that we can stay connected throughout the week and really thrive in our tribe um, of like-minded, Jesus-loving businesswomen. Because what I didn't get to share with you, and I'm so sorry for being remiss on this, but um, without going too deeply into detail, I was in hospitality hospitality management for years. And it was actually in hospitality management and in my career that I recommitted my life to the Lord. And I remember in that moment, literally everything changed. Suddenly my perspective changed. I suddenly somehow knew that I had to have deeper purposes here, that God had planted me here on mission. And so really desiring to seek, okay, Lord, what does that look like? What, what am I here for? Who am I? How can I walk in the fullness of who you've created me to be so that I can fulfill what I'm here for? Lord, how do I conduct myself and lead others in ways according to the word and not the world, right? We get all this training, we get all these things and um, they're in worldly settings, but Lord, can you give me kingdom perspective on all this? Can you really rewire my mind and my brain so that I can truly maximize impact for your kingdom here so that I can truly show your heart and share your heart and your love for your people here. And so that I remember that and just really being like, okay, and everything shifted. And what made the hugest difference for me was actually joining a group of women and doing life with them and growing our faith and walking through a lot of these things. Now, granted, it was it was a process and it took time. Um, but one thing that I actually never did have was a group of women specifically in the workplace with that, that um, kind of paralleled vision. And so when the Lord gave me this call, he was like, I want you to create what you wish you had. Take all the amazing things that I brought to you, take um, all the aspects of the, the, um, 
things that I have trained you up in and that I gave you the resources. And I want you to create a group that you wish you had, which was of like-minded women who were all in the workforce where we can all understand one another and where we can champion each other in fulfillment of our purposes in the workplace. So that being said, the community part is going to be huge um, and it's yeah. going to be very, very empowering and encouraging. You're also going to get implementation strategies and accountability. Great thing about community is you get accountability and we all want accountability, right? We were actually made for accountability and then implementation strategies. So each week you're going to get power packed training and really, um, next steps to how to go deeper in each thing and get personal revelation from the Lord and implementation strategies for things. So I'm really, really excited about that. I also have a few bonuses for you. The first bonus is that I'm actually going to add, we've got the 12, the 12 weeks um, of coaching, and I'm going to add four bonus special group Q and a sessions where we're really just gathering and asking questions, getting answers, having conversations, very similar to, to what we're doing here, but you know, um, asking those questions and getting some answers and really that iron sharpening iron and linking those shields of faith. The second bonus is personal assessments. So as I mentioned, we're going to be delving into discovering our unique design and we're going to put it in perspective to the kingdom. You guys, this is powerful. It's incredibly encouraging. It's strengthening and I'm super excited. So I'm actually going to include all the assessments for you, uh, which is awesome. The third bonus is that strengths finder. If you have or haven't taken that assessment, that's going to be one of the multiple assessments that we go through, but there's a wonderful book called strengths finder, discover your strengths book. And I'm actually going to also include that book on me for each of you, because I really want you to have access to deeper levels of understanding of your strengths and also the strengths of those around you. You guys, the amazing thing is this is going to impact your workplace but it's going to impact, like I said, every realm of influence. When we are walking in the fullness of our design and we have better understanding for how God's created us and how God's created others, all of our relationships are better. Our relationships with our husbands, our relationships with our kids, our relationships with our friends, our relationships with those we do ministry with who are still our friends, but you know what I mean? Uh, with our teams and everything. So this is going to be huge. And so that book is going to be included and what I'm also doing specifically just for each of you that are subscribed to Kingdom Blueprint, Mary is one of my dearest friends. And by default, you are some of my dearest friends. And I'm really thankful for this opportunity to get to open the door for anyone that feels led by the Lord and called to potentially join this next program. And because of that, I'm going to offer a special bonus 30 minute breakthrough session with me. And that'll be before, before you even sign up. Um, we can just hop on the phone, get together. You can hear more about my heart for the program, but we'll get you some breakthrough and some vision as well. So it's some time one-on-one -on -one together so that you can get to know me a little bit better. I can get to know you and we can we can decide whether or not this is the best fit to fan your flame in this next season. Cause that's my heart is that I want to fan the flame. What fans the flame is oxygen, right? So I want to breathe life into your flame, into the unique call and purpose on your life and your unique design and persona. This is a place for you to be yourself. And so we will discover in that time, whether or not this is the right next step for you. Um, and so I'm going to include that as well. That sounds amazing. I'm super excited. I know I'm going to be joining it as well. Uh, you know, Tara, once you know what your purpose is, you know how to drive, right? That purpose driven life, that book, it was so many years ago, it came out, but purpose driven life. If you don't know your purpose, you don't know where you're going. And so like, once I started knowing what my purpose was, it's like, man, it just, it, all like God is just a God of order and he just, everything flows. When you're in your purpose, everything flows. There's no stress. There's no worry. It's exciting. I'm super excited for you. That sounds like an amazing program. I know for the listeners today, you also have a special gift for them. Yes. So that was my special gift was the breakthrough session. So okay. that's going to be on me for any of you that are interested. And what I'm going to give you right now is actually the best email address to contact me at. 
There so <laughs> in my, my business name is actually uniquely inflamed coaching and consulting LLC. So my email address is uniquely, but listen to the spelling here is Y O U N I Q U E L Y inflamed E N F L A M E D L L C at gmail.com. Again, that's Y O U N I Q U E L Y E N F L A M E D L L C at gmail.com. And if any of you are listening to this on the go or driving, um, Mary's going to actually go ahead and put that into, into the content. So I was just um, about to say that. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the email below guys. So you can get her information. So I'm yes. excited. That sounds amazing. Yes. So when you reach out to me, just let me know. Um, if you could just put in the subject line, reignite, and then let, let me know in the body, your name and that you listened on kingdom blueprint and that you're interested. And we will work together from there to get you all set up. So we've got a couple of different options, um, as well for the program. So I am super excited. And the first thing we're going to delve into, I was sharing with you guys earlier, the importance and Mary was speaking into this as well, the importance of embracing the purposes of the season we are in the here. And now that is what prepares us for all the future purpose and all the future vision and all that. So the first thing we're going to delve into is getting you breakthrough on the purposes that God has for you in this season. And as Mary said, once we have our purposes, we can drive. The word of God says that where there is no vision, the people perish. So a lot of times we are so sorry about that. A lot of times we are burnt out running into a brick wall over and over again, exhausted, um, you know, just really worn out. And it's because we need a fresh word of purpose because we need fresh vision. When I was in hospitality management, I knew for three years before God called me out of it, that he was going to call me out of it. And I continuously about once every year or so, would just hit that wall. And I'm like, God, I just need to know again, you know, can you just reaffirm my purposes? And every single time he was faithful to right away and it reignited my flame. It gave me fresh strength. It gave me fresh motivation to proceed on because I knew I was on path. So um, that's going to be one of the first that is actually going to be really virtually the first thing that we walk through. And I'm going to walk you through that process and how to do it and how to seek the Lord and hear from him and really get breakthrough and vision for you to embrace your purposes this season. That's exciting, Tara. I'm super excited for what you're doing and for what the Lord is calling you to do. I think it's also, like you said, it's important to really focus on what your purpose is, especially with everything going on in the world, because mm -hmm. all the distractions of the world and the chaos that's around us We've really got to focus on what is our path. And I know so many people that when they don't know if they're on the right path, that's a struggle. Like, wait a minute, am I on the right path Lord? Am I not on the right path? And it's like this, everything going on in the world is really awakening people to really questioning for the first time, am I on the right path or am I living counterfeit? Am I living kingdom? Am I living counterfeit? You know, once I came from counterfeit to kingdom, it's a completely different everything. Like your mindset, the behaviors, the patterns, everything shifts when it's kingdom and there's freedom with kingdom. But if you've lived counterfeit your whole life, you don't know the difference. And so it's interesting because people are starting to really realize like, hmm, Am I settling for less than God's best? And so I'm excited because I feel like your challenge is really going to help women to be able to launch into their purpose and launch into where they're supposed to be and to have that confidence and boldness in Christ that they're right where God wants them. And that's yes. so powerful. Yes. Thank and you. community too. You know, that's the big thing the Lord's been speaking to me too. I think both of us, right? Community. We want those communities of ladies and women that we can be sisters and we can be encouraging and loving and supportive and empowering and not negative or jealous or, you know, like we really, and we need that. We really need that where we link arms and we iron sharpen iron and we're for each other. That's huge. That's, that's the heart of God. That's the heart of God. hundred percent. So that's exciting. That sounds good. Well, then I will definitely make sure. We uh, put your information down below 
And it's next Thursday, right? So guys, I would hurry and email her because it's going to be amazing. It's going to be powerful. It's going to catapult you. It's going to launch you into your purpose in the marketplace. And women, it's going to be a place where you can feel safe, where you can just let your hair down and be who you are and not feel judged and not feel criticized and not feel condemned because that's the, that's the heart of God. We're not here to condemn each other. We're here to empower each other and grow with each other and embrace what we are supposed to be in each of us. So it's exciting. So I'm super excited, Tara. And I look forward to next week. Me too. Thank you so much for hosting me and thank you all for listening and watching. And I just pray that today be a day of incredible breakthrough for every listener under the sound of my voice, Lord. I pray that you would remind them who they are to you today. Remind them that they are breathing in this moment because you have breathed your breath into their lungs and it is for purpose, Lord. So I ask even in this moment for just a reignition in the hearts and the spirits and the, in the souls of your daughter as they're listening to this, Lord. I just pray for fresh deposits of hope, of faith, and of purpose, God. I pray that if they've never heard something like this before, that they really truly ingest this in this moment, that they have been uniquely designed by you for purposes that only they can fulfill, Lord. And I pray, God, that you give them the courage and the strength to step forward, Lord in whichever way that you're calling them, Lord. So I thank you, God. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your sovereignty. We thank you, Lord, that we have the ability, as Paul says, to just forget what's behind and press forward towards the prize and finish our race, our personal race with you, God. And Lord, may we all make it to your gates and you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. We love you, Lord, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Great prayer. Great time. Thank you for coming on here, Tara. I'm super encouraged and super excited for this program you're about to launch. And this is Mary Dade with Kingdom Blueprint, and we'll talk later. Bye. Bye.